Baby, I'm home. <laughs> why is the lights on in the kitchen? And why is the TV at full blast? Baby? Um, hon? <laughs> Whatever, I'll find her later. Let's just get this situated. The dishes are clean, so she did that, which I'm so proud of her. She hates doing the dishes. Let's turn off the lights, and in the living room, let's turn off this TV. Baby, where are you? Ba- <laughs> Oh. Hey, baby. You're so adorable when you sleep. Um, sleeping on the couch is not what you should be doing at one in the morning, though. <laughs> let's... <clears throat> Come on, let's go to the bed. There you are, all nice and tucked in. I'm going to get situated and... Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to wake you up. You were sleeping on the living room couch and... That thing is not comfortable. I don't know how you fell asleep. Huh? Oh, you missed me. <laughs> I'm so sorry, baby. I had to work late. I was supposed to clock out at 10, but there was so many people that I guess called out for the night shift or like the overnight shift. And so my boss offered me overtime. Like a lot of overtime for working just a couple of extra hours. I knew I should have called you, but my phone died and just so many things happened. I'm sorry. It it won't happen again, I promise. <laughs> oh my god. You're so tired. I mean, I am too, but you look so cute. Let me get situated and I'll join you in bed, okay? Did you eat anything? Baby, don't lie to me. Did you eat anything? I remember I cooked you something for breakfast this morning. You ate that, okay, and then I also ordered you something for lunch while I was at work. You ate that, okay, perfect. What did you eat for dinner? Baby, you have to eat dinner. <laughs> so if I'm just not here getting you food, you're just not going to eat? I mean, I wasn't here for lunch when you ate it and you ate it by yourself. You can't make that as an excuse. But fine, I'm going to get you. But fine, I'm going to cook you an amazing breakfast tomorrow to make up for tonight, okay? And I don't want to hear any complaints because you're the one that asked for it, okay? <laughs> Good. But let me go change my clothes and take a shower and be back, okay? <laughs> okay. Stay beautiful for me. <laughs> Alright, baby, I'm back. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> oh, you fell asleep again. <laughs> you don't have to lie to me. I was just hearing you snore. <laughs> Listen, it's okay that you snore. You tell me that I do as well sometimes anyway, so... If both of us do it, none of us can get embarrassed because of it. It's okay to snore. And also, your snoring is cute. I know mine is ugly, so... It doesn't really matter. <laughs> Anyways, come here. <laughs> you don't know how much I love this. <laughs> I know you're tired and you're like drifting in and out between being asleep or not, but what did you do today? You told me that you you told me that you went out with friends for a little bit, but then you came home to hang out by yourself? What did you do with your friends? 
You went shopping, picked up some shoes and a new dress because your high school reunion is next week. Oh my God. Are you excited? <laughs> I mean, I would come with you, but I don't think any outsiders are allowed to come in, right? Or like, isn't it? Wait, I read somewhere that's like, if you're married, then your significant other can come with you to it to like, I guess, meet people. But if you're just like dating, then you can't go. <laughs> you want to get married? <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Why did you get so awake and alarmed off of that? It was a joke, baby. Obviously, I want to marry you in the future. But right now, we have to... I don't know. Grow more. <laughs> if that's even a term that you should be using. Whatever. Nonetheless, I hope you enjoy yourself at your high school reunion. Just let me know what day it is so I can take a day off before it and on it to prepare you for it. Next week, Friday. Oh, so it leads into the weekend. That probably makes the most sense. <laughs> Anyways, um... I see you yawning. You want to go to bed? You want me to stop talking? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love when you talk. You say that all the time, but me talking is keeping you awake, baby. <laughs> whatever, whatever. Oh. <laughs> I knew you loved cuddling, but I thought you preferred being the little spoon. I didn't know you liked facing me as well. <laughs> You're so cute. I honestly can't get over it. Honestly, you know one thing I can compare you to? You know how, like, those soccer moms on the internet look at cat videos and they say, like, cuteness overload or whatever? That's what you're giving me right now. And I'm getting tingles all over my body. <laughs> I love you so much. I honestly can't get enough of this. Oh, you're going to go to bed again. I was just having fun. Anyways, uh, no, it's okay, don't worry. I'm gonna go to bed too. I am a little tired as well after a long day at work, so it kind of works out, I guess. <laughs> Good night, baby. <laughs> I love you. Oh, one last thing before we go to bed. I brought you flowers. It's on the dining room table, but I didn't put it in a vase. So whenever you do get a chance, actually, I'm going to do it in the morning. Never mind. But I got you your favorite. And I also got you red velvet cake because I know just how much you love that as well. So on my way back home from work, I realized how late it was and I thought I needed to get you something to apologize and so I did. So I got your favorite cake, your favorite flowers, and a letter for you. But you can read that in your own time. If I'm there while you're reading it next to me, honestly, I, I'm going to get super embarrassed. So <laughs> you can read that by yourself, all right? Okay, good. And with that being said, I am drained of energy. <laughs> We can cuddle right now, and I don't have work in the morning, and I don't think you do either, so in the morning we can cuddle some more and be with each other. I missed you today. <laughs> you don't know how much you help me out throughout everything I do. You've made my life so much easier, and it gets easier as days go by. I don't know where I'd be without you. Or what I'd be doing, honestly. I love you with all my heart. And I hope you sleep well, okay? <clears throat> Good night, baby.